Or we'll at least make it to winter today. But I'm sort of just like doing the stuff <laughs> right now. Alright, Haley. Let's give you a gift that hopefully you'll like. I'm sure you like wine, but I don't have any, so don't you don't get that, unfortunately. No, yes I do. Nope. I thought I had one. Really? Some grapes. Hmm. I'm trying to think what she could like that's not. I haven't really tried like other stuff on her. Let's see if she likes a cheese. No, I bet she would like goat cheese. She seems like a fine cheeses kind of lady. <gasps> For me, thank you. Yay, she likes it. I don't think she loved it, but but hey, it's better than giving her flowers every day. I'm kind of tired of giving everybody flowers. I don't know. I feel lame. You know, it's like when you give that somebody the same birthday gift over and over again. You feel like lame for it. That's how I feel right now. I don't like that. Really? Just some extra wood laying around? I have some extra wood that you can have. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No? Good. Good. I don't know what I'm saying either. I am hungry. Always hungry. Basically. I'm pretty awesome like that. Cranberries? No cranberries. Let's ship the we I think you can add more shipping bins if you can. No, I, there's there's no option for that. I don't think. Wait, okay. Is there a crafting option for more? No, there is not. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> Your girlfriend's dad loves you? Good. You followed my advice, that's why, right? You're welcome in this house any day. Well, good. You got more approval from her than I have from my current girlfriend's dad, so. And I've been with her almost four years now, so. Well, actually, her dad's okay with me. It's her mom, really, so. So I guess that's not true. Although, I don't think he terribly approves of me, which is, I don't know why. I'm a perfect gentleman, okay? I do not follow one of my crucial pieces of advice though with him, which is always agree with him. I I have a hard time agreeing with people if I disagree. Even on little things. And I guess he gets upset when I disagree with him or he takes it personally because he's cool. Oh, your girlfriend is adopted? Oh, I didn't know that. I mean, that, that doesn't really matter. I mean, it doesn't change anything. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it does for you? I don't know. It doesn't change anything, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't think you meant it as a bad thing, just saying. <clears throat> yep, there's nothing wrong with being adopted. I wish I was adopted because my parents suck. I'm just kidding. My parents are amazing. I wish I was adopted. That's a it's probably a bad thing to say. I'm going to be sucked into a Disney Channel show and that's going to happen. But yeah, my... Wait. Okay, everything's being out of order. But yeah, my grandmother went to school with him and she was cool with him. Oh, really? How old is her dad? My gosh. See, my girlfriend now, her her family has no even sort of connection to my family, so like they have no clue who each other are. I mean, they do now, obviously, but they didn't before. Thank you. Will you please? I'm going to take care of the animals, but I'm going to then go up to the, the wood place, or the carpenter. You guys both have your wool back already? Holy cow. I'm really glad I did the animal thing, like the... 
what was it? The shepherd, because it makes them grow their wool faster. It's pretty crazy. Billy, is that you? <laughs> oh yeah, she's adopted. Oh yeah. Okay, it makes sense. It's okay. Although I have a I have a friend in in college, and she's so she's like 21, maybe 22. I, I don't know. Uh, and uh, her dad her dad is like 85, and she's my age. So and she's not adopted. No way, she is adopted. Never mind. Never mind, she's adopted. We, I had a friend in high school whose dad at the time was in his, like, she, he was like 65 and she was in high school with me. Okay, there. There's a better example. <laughs> I realized the fallacy in my statement. I'm like, no way, I'm wrong. She was adopted. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, she is adopted. I don't remember where she's from. Somewhere in Asia. But yeah. <clears throat> oh no! No! <sighs> I didn't want that. God dang. I really hate the clicking in this game. Now that I'm, I haven't played the game in a while, the clicking system is actually kind of making me frustrated to the point that I don't want to quit, but like, I regret playing it right now. <laughs> okay, so we'll probably play H1Z1 after a while today, but then tomorrow, I think Dark Souls 3 maybe. I don't know, when I asked what game should I play, I was, I had options. My options were Minecraft, H1Z1, or Stardew Valley. But Dark Souls could be a good option. Um, you know, let's check this place. I still haven't seen anything going on here ever. Oh. I mean, you wonder why it's run down. Oh my god. Anything on here? There's nothing. What's the point of this place? Today I'm baking cookies. They're shaped like little pumpkins. Can I have some? Oh, she did go in there. How about that? I was expecting there to be like a community of people in there though, you know? Like after I open it, people would be in there all day, every day. It will. <sighs> I forgot the important part. I forgot to break the freaking walls. So he's not going to do this last time. I won't make it in time. My good. So, we've caught all the fish because we've gotten the collection, but I don't remember if we need to be fishing. So I know we're missing a lot of fish. I don't completely know when they were. Like, what seasons it is. I'm sure we're missing them in every season, but. So now that I've beat the game, it feels, I've gotten to the bottom of the mine, I've gotten, I mean, I've had every crop, I'm writ, basically I can buy anything I want, I'm married, I haven't had a kid yet, but it basically feels like you've done it all, am I right? <laughs> I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm done. <laughs> There's a lot to do in reality, but, I don't know. I know I just did more than I have to, but I don't want to have to come back here. I don't, I literally don't know what else is there. I mean, I can just, all I'm doing is trying to complete my collections. I know there's secrets around town, but I don't know that I need to do them necessarily. It is very hot. It feels like I turned the heat on, but I know I didn't. We have to go look at that, look at that in a second. <clears throat> By look at that, I mean turn the air conditioner on, because I'm amazing. Are 
it. You're right. I gotta fix that social zone. Construct farm building. Farm. I'm not so sure I like that right now. I might move that over one. It'd look better if I moved it over one, wouldn't it? Yeah. Hang on, guys. Oh my gosh, guys. What? Seriously? Oh my gosh, the grass? Ugh. Nah, I definitely won't make it. Hmm. Red Cross keeps calling me. Over and over again. Red Cross is a horrible organization, guys. I had to say this, but never give blood to them. Red Cross is literally a horrible organization. They're literally like the, their phone calling like practices is illegal, but nobody questions it because they're taking your blood. I don't know. Give blood to your family. I don't know. It sounds bad, but I don't know. They're just so horrible. Like, ugh, makes me mad. Makes me not want to give my blood. I don't even mind giving blood. Like, I don't mind doing that. I don't mind blood tests, I don't, and I've done lots of, I mean, I've done Red Cross, like, blood givings a couple times, and it doesn't bother me or anything, but Red Cross bothers me. Their nurses or whoever are awful, usually. You fell out of your chair because you were laughing so hard? <laughs> Red Cross pays you? Red Cross is a pretty crooked organization, man. Where is the freaking mayor? You can talk crap. I talk crap about my work all the time. That's what we do, man. That's just how you do it. That's just how you should live life. You'll be happier if you talk crap. Oh, look at this. How about that? Out of business. I've never actually looked over here since, I don't think. You're affiliated with them? That's okay. That's okay, don't worry about it. You're not, you're not them. Just because you're affiliated with them doesn't mean you're them. Is he? I'd see him in the community center. I was at the community center. Is that where he spends his days now? He better, because he's whining at me like a little hoe. And I clicked shift hoping it would be the run button, but then I remembered I'm already running in this game. So slow. Oh, there he is. How about that? Hey, leave that money in there. The saloon gets pretty lively at night. Take this mayonnaise. You're welcome. He was at the vault. You're right. I feel like there's something in there. I should have looked. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, Red Cross always makes me mad. They continually call you. I've asked them so many times to stop calling me. It's so horrible. It's always calling you. I don't mind giving blood. I just don't want to be harassed about it. And if you harass me about it, then I don't want to give blood anymore. <laughs> Which is bad, but somebody tell them that it doesn't work, god dang it. <laughs> Cause they think if they harass you enough, you'll finally be like, fine, I'll come in and freaking give blood so that they won't call me for a month because I think you can only do it every month or every couple weeks. 
You just come in and give blood just so that they'll stop harassing you. They don't what for you? Like harass you or? No, it's it's the Red Cross. I mean, every time they call me, I like now I just say, well, I've been hanging up in the past and I keep planning to like uh, block their number. But it always happens at like an inconvenient time, like now, where I'm gonna forget afterwards. Or it happens like in class and stuff, or while I'm sleeping. I can't tell you the amount of times they woke me up to ask me to give blood just so I can hang up on them. My god. I could literally kill Red Cross. Red Cross will need my blood after I'm done with them. Bad thing is, I'd. I'd I do. I just kill Red Cross, and they'd call me and be like, "Hey, we need some blood for our procedure." Freaking Red Cross. Red Cross seems like one of those like those off limit organi off limits organizations where you like can't say anything bad about it. But look at me here. I'm just tearing down the freaking walls. I don't care. I don't even care. I do what I want. And Red Cross is sort of viewed with some frustration by the healthcare industry anyway, to be honest. Because they do things like this. Okay. So I don't forget. Actually. Um, yeah, there, lots of people will get frustrated with them. And they've had lots of questionable practices, lots of ethics and stuff that's messed up. Especially with their charity works. They're very qu questionable in terms of their charity work. Yeah, your blood is precious, you're right. I'm O positive, so my blood is, is sort of precious. Like, it's very useful, so... So they want my blood a lot. I'm sure they're hitting you up all the time though. I'm gonna give her that tomorrow and see what happens. I bet she'll like it. She better like it. It's a freaking diamond. It's not a joke here. We're back with another tip for y'all. It's just a couple days until communities around the Fungal Republic celebrate Spirits Eve. One tradition you may not know of is a search for the Golden Pumpkin. If your town has a haunted maze, then you can be sure there's a Golden Pumpkin hidden somewhere. Those things are valuable. I don't know what I'm looking for. Let's go to bed. Yes. A universal donor, yeah. A B negative. Oh, you're A B positive. 